today's menu, what we are having is pan-seared salmon and shrimp with creamy sauce. This is a quick one if you have guests that are coming over and you just want to whip something quickly or your kids are really hungry and you need to whip something up. This is what you got to do. So for today's recipe, we have um, tomatoes that have already have them. We have basil, we have parsley, and I also have some shrimp here. The reason why I have it on the um, paper towel is because I needed to take out some of the moisture. You know, shrimp has a lot of moisture. And also we have some sun-dried tomatoes over here. I think here we have about half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. We have Parmesan cheese, heavy whipping cream. You can also use the heavy cream because the whipping one is a little bit lighter. But if you prefer the thicker version, you can get the heavy cream. We have some minced garlic. I have about four cloves in there. We have some bouillon right here. This is the salmon right here that we're going to be using. And also we do need some white wine. You want to go for the dry one or the medium dry. You don't want to go for the sweet one. Let's get cooking. So right here I have two pans and I'm going to heat them up. You can actually use one pan to do everything, but because I am pressed for time, I decided to use two pans. That way it saves me some time. So over here, while this other pan is heating, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my garlic. So I'm gonna go in, I do have olive oil here. It's actually infused with some lemon peels and pepper. You can actually use the one that doesn't have any infusion. So right here, I'm going with I'm going to put all what you need in the description box below. So I have my garlic in here. Put in the garlic I'm gonna go in with my tomatoes these are cherry tomatoes you want to make sure all the moisture is out so while that is cooking in there for make sure it is on medium to low heat while that is cooking in there I'm gonna season my shrimps and for that I'm gonna be using salt and a little bit of the bouillon. You can skip the bouillon, but I love the taste of bouillon on shrimps. And then I'll be going in with some pepper. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take this off here and I toss it on the pan, because I think it's already strong. Right now I'm gonna go in with my sun dried tomatoes. So I'm gonna take down the heat a notch and let it sit in there. So now that our pan is heated, we're gonna go in with some more of the olive oil. I'm gonna try to put Then they come in. You don't want your olive oil to be burnt. So notice that we are not frying this, we are just shallow frying it. While the cherry tomatoes is in there, you want to go in with your basil. So I'm just going to chop this. I'm saving the other part for later. Just the aroma in here from the shrimp. It is so good. So I'm going to take this into the pot. So 
that in the pot and give that a stir. So I'm just cooking down the tomatoes so that by the time we put in the shrimp and the salmon, it is already half cooked. So we're gonna keep that on low heat and check on the shrimp. It's getting pink, can you see that? So next, we're gonna go in with a wine, about three quarters cup. You can add more if you need more salt. I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute. And then check on the shrimp. That's the color I'm going for. That golden brown. That is the color. Your family is gonna love this. You gotta give this a try, guys. Now that that is steam a little bit, we're gonna go ahead with our cream. So you wanna get like three quarter cup. And then go in with more pepper. And some salt. You got to stir it. So right now you want to put this on low heat. Now that we already have the color that we're going for, we're going to transfer this into a pan. So while it is cooking, we're going to go ahead and season the salmon with some pepper and some salt. You don't want to put too much salt for it to taste. Like that. Okay. So let that sit and check out the rest of the shrimp. This is gourmet cooking. So now I'm gonna go in with the salmon and just sear it. I'm gonna try to make it straight, people. Just listen to that season. This is cooking beautifully. Look at the color. So we are not cooking this fully, we are just searing it because it's gonna cook fully in the sauce. 
So while that is in there, we're gonna go ahead and grate our cheese. And this is Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna be grating like three quarter cup for the recipe that we have. This is all done. We're gonna transfer this onto a plate. And now we are all done with this pan. We're gonna transfer this over here to another heat. So the next thing we're gonna go in with is gonna be our cheese. This is the next thing we're going in with, the cheese. You can go light on the cheese if you want. Yes, Noah? Give me a moment, I'll be right there. This will be great with rice or pasta. Next, we're gonna go in with the shrimp. like a base for your salmon. Now we're gonna go in with the salmon. This salmon is broken. I have no clue why, but it did break. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna fix it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on low heat and cover it for a moment, about two minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this and let it boil for five minutes. Let all the juice soak into the summer. And it's been five minutes, guys. Let's take a look at it together. Look at that. This is all done. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in with a little bit more herbs. And it is done. You can get your rice, you can also have your spaghetti, or maybe even just some old plain French bread. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. Please, please, please help this ministry grow so we can produce and make more and more videos for you guys. Thank you, guys, and have a fab one. You know, I love you all, and stay blessed. Ciao. Mwah.